Hello guys, Chocolate here, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing off some good old little cheats in this game, some hidden secrets, secret menu, some things that you can spawn that do not spawn in the actual game. I'm going to be showing off quite a few different things. But uh, First things first, uh, load up a match. Do not do practice. Uh, some things are not going to work, because you need Granny to do them. Granny's not going to exist in practice mode. So, do easy, medium, hard, or extreme. I'm going medium. The C does not matter. I'm skipping the intro. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I'm a little sick, so I apologize for that. But, the first thing I'm going to show you is the secret menu. The little cheats menu. It's kind of simple how to pull it up, but most people don't even know about it. Because they don't think to push this button. But, when you load into a match, push 0. And... You've got all these things that you can spawn, uh, whatever. There's also some other things. You can spawn Granny. I don't know what this one does. Things just doesn't work. You can spawn a big trap, a normal trap. You can delete all Grannies. There's an X-Ray. And then there's a few more at the bottom that I will show in a second. Uh, but first, I'm going to remove Granny. So we're all alone in the house currently. And I'm going to spawn another one just to show off. You can spawn as many as you as you would like. And boom! You've got like 10 grannies chasing you. Kind of cool, am I right? One thing about that, comment below, if you want, if you would like to see me go against like 10 grannies. Try to speedrun against 10 grannies. Let me know. Anyways, big trap. Uh, that did not work. There we go. It works the same as a normal trap, but larger radius, same setup time, or like time to get out. It's just the same thing, except it's big. We like big things, am I right? And then we got a normal trap. It works the exact same, nothing different, it's just a big trap. And then remove grannies. Oh, there's also a destroy this. Did not show that up. Show that off. But, you can see every single item in the game. Every single item you can pick up. A vase, there's a tomato in that box, another vase. Pillow, pillow, there's a radiator, shovel, antenna, remote control, another vase. There's the door key for the basement, I don't know exactly what it's called. Here's some key behind this painting. A padlock key used for the store, very nice. There's a tire, painting. Rocks in the base. It, there's you can see everything. Well, there's even more tires, a hammer. But there are two secret items that spawn in the main room. I mean, this one not so secret, but that one. You're not really going to be seeing that. Like, I mean, you can kind of see it when you spawn, but that's because you're looking for it. If you're just you know waking up eh, from a good old day from granny uh you're not just just gonna go like oh oh my gosh wow and sometimes it sometimes it's harder to grab and it's harder to see but i'll show that off in a little second but let's look at the little ball you know what a bouncy ball does it bounces that was a bad bounce hold on hold on hold on watch this it bounces Crazy. Let me get a better bounce for you. Okay, I don't know why it's bouncing like that, but one thing to know about this, uh, I do not think it alerts Granny. Let let's let's see. I think she might have saw me right there. But as you can see, the ball is still bouncing, and she's not running over to it. She's still just walking normally. As you can see, she is just walking upstairs. Maybe the first throw? No. It doesn't alert her at all. So the ball, absolutely, it's not like a noise trap for her. Sadly. Uh, get out of here, Granny. Anyways, back to this little battery thing. It's called a battery. It's always going to spawn here. Uh, yeah. But, it this like triples your speed, I think. Maybe double, I don't know. But, this is walking speed. I am walking right now. Sprinting. 
You see how fast I'm going? I'd say that's pretty cool. Uh, this is crouching speed, and then there's a thing called a slow walk, where you do not creak the floor below you. I don't know if it creaks in here, but this is that speed. So basically you can go the speed without making any creaking noises. The only issue with this item is that it takes up your inventory. You only have one inventory slot, it's your hand. You can only carry one item at a time. That's the only issue with this item, but it's good to use as a first thing. Like if I'm doing a speed run, you know, wake up, grab it, go to, let's say, the farthest item to get the most use out of it. So let's say there's like, oh my gosh, I really need this tomato to get out of here. Now I got the tomato, I got there in like 5 seconds instead of 15, but, boom, throw it at my granny, knock a painting down, do whatever you need, move on with the day. Anyways, that, yeah, that's basically what that item does, there's not a whole lot else. Um, I sadly wish it didn't take up an item, that'd be pretty OP though, so I can understand that. Now next. There's a thing called destroy this. Whatever you are looking at is going to get destroyed. Wow. Cool, huh? Sorry. No, it actually is pretty cool. Sadly, uh, if you go on the opposite side of the main door, you can't escape. You have to be on the other side. Because right here, there is an invisible door. Or an invisible box right in front of this door. That triggers the, the end of the game but you can do one thing is to destroy the door and reach to the end I did do a short where I did a six second speed run six second speed run I woke up got here destroyed the door as fast as possible and left I almost just <laughs> ended the game I don't want to do that quite yet but that is destroy this you can use that to get anywhere you can destroy the map if you'd like but you can fall forever, I think. Last time I did it, I fell forever. I don't know if there's like, if that's changed. Here's like the ending qu cutscene from the car escape. This is what you drive up to. Yeah. There's some mountains or low hills, whatever. You can see basically the whole house. I'll give you a better view. Uh, the, the believe yeah this was already destroyed these walls right here it was just never a thing you can see all around here I destroyed this fence right here you can see this side you can kind of lets you see through it cuz you know it's how these things work around here but yeah let's get back inside oh that little wire is a little long <laughs> anyways Uh, I wouldn't go climbing up this. I did it earlier, and I got stuck. So do not do that. No, 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 no. Now, there are, I believe, three other things in this list that do not spawn in the house. One of them does spawn, but they do not pick up. It's the little duct tape right here. But if you find, go down here to the duct tape. You can spawn a little tuck tape. I don't think this does anything. It's a little bigger compared to those. But it I don't think this does anything. It has no use. I'm pretty sure it does not spawn in the house. I've never seen it myself. So, next. There's a fizz coin or a fizz gun and a super coin. Uh super coin, you might know what it is. Or you might guess because there is a normal coin. Oh, oops that you can use to put into the vending machine to give you a little cup or a little can that will give you a little speed boost and I'll show you what the super coin does it's very very neat but I'll show you the fizz gun basically it's like the thing from I think Gmod pick up a little grab any item that only you can pick up not like these paintings oh okay I actually did not know that one you can use it open drawers maybe doors no. Oh, I can kind of use it to open these. It's very wonky. Uh, 
Okay, you can't like move with it. But you can't like move paintings. Not doors, but I guess you can move these little wardrobes. Drawers, maybe closets? Let's go see. Not that. Not cans either. Uh, can't push on that. You can move that. You can move. Yeah, these you can move because they're items that you can pick up. Cannot move lockers and not closets. So, drawers and wardrobes. I think that's mainly just all. And then just items that you can pick up. And then break yourself a little vase. Throw it across the room. I believe this does have an infinite range. Let's see. No, it does not. Wait, maybe. I just maybe I just got a bad grab. I think I did. Uh Okay. Oh, maybe it was just those that okay. No, I'm still learning myself, as you can see. But let's see. I can grab it from clear over here. Yes, and then you can use the scroll wheel and you bring it right to you. But of course, this doesn't spawn in the actual game that I know of. I've never seen it myself. But I've used X-ray. I've never just seen it, you know, like hiding in the corner or something, you know. Anyways, I want to show you what a normal coin does. Uh, hold on, let's drop the X-ray. Here's what the duct tape looks like. I don't think I showed it to you. But, you put in a coin into the vending machine, a can pops out. What a drink. Yummy. And you got a little bit of a speed boost. This one might be double. I think the battery does triple. But I know it's also very cool. Sorry. Uh, the battery and the can stack. I don't know where I put the battery. Um, where did I put it? Out here. No. Okay, sorry. I found it. But, yes, this does in fact stack. Uh, I already used the coin, so I have to spawn the super coin. As a bit of a cooler look. As you can see, it is glowing. But, when you put this into the vending machine, uh, watch. You've got near infinite infinite cans. Sadly, yes. I, once again, this does not spawn in the in a normal game. You have to press zero. Spawn a super coin and do it again. Ah, uh, the game's lagging a little. But uh, the cans do not stack within themselves, but the battery and the can alone do stack. As you can see, I'm now sprinting. I'm now super fast. Even faster than before. Oh, let's get another one. I think I ran out. Okay. Oh, here you go. Here you go. This is the full speed. The absolute fastest. So you can go in just the base game. No adding like little side cheats. But. Yeah. That is the super coin. This is the battery. Spawn ourselves a bunch of little cans anyways if you're curious about this number on the left is how many of those are in the map i mean these show nothing because they don't really count i mean granny can count well i don't know why it doesn't probably because it's not like she's not an item she's a entity <laughs> a person whatever and weirdly uh she doesn't track you when you're outside of the boundaries of the house well then once you're in them, she'll just automatically like see you, I think. Uh, well, let's destroy this, and maybe she can see me. No. Oh, the other one's coming for me. What? Oh yeah, as you can see, once I stepped out, she no longer sees me. But once I get close, oh, she can now see me once I step out. Yeah, you, you get it. You get the idea. And then you can destroy the floor as well explore the depths grab the item from the the well yeah now I'm trying to think of what else I could show on here but yeah these are all the numbers for how many of those items are in the game I can spawn a bunch of oh sorry spawn a bunch of screwdrivers you can see now there's seven 
They're all right there. Uh, I think of uh, this cheat system, I believe that's all I can show you. Of all that's in the map, I think that's all I can show you. There's not very many other cool things. I've always seen this. Maybe eventually there's going to be a basement. I don't know. But, you know. But, I'm going to show you a another thing. You probably have seen this, but if you go into extreme mode, a button called Corrupt Game appears. Push it. Your game sounds a little funky. Go up to the top, type restart. The game still sounds a little funky. Do any difficulty, load in. And uh, see with yourself. And take a little look. A little peek. As you can see, it's very weird. It's making me look a little weird. But, oh. For some reason, uh, when you're out and moving, it's very odd. <gasps> um, where is my... Okay. Thankfully, the jump scares are a little bit quieter, um, because in the main, or the normal game, the jump scares are just loud, annoying, they're not very scary, I mean, a little because they're just out of nowhere, they freaking make you go crazy, but the sounds are all echoey, holy crap, let me hop back into the map so I can show you a little better, but all sounds are pretty echoey, uh, the game looks very messed up, as you can see. It's basically like a nightmare mode for normal granny. Good old normal granny. Oh. Granny threw a vase. I think she's having a rough day. Uh, let's remove her for now. The flashlight. This is the flashlight. You're not seeing a whole lot. But I think when you're standing still, it kind of... I think when you get used to the lights, I think this game has, like, a light dimming thing. Like, when you stare into the light, it things get brighter around you until you look away. See, I see I'm in the light, and it gets a bit brighter. If I go into in the dark, it's dark. But if I go into the light, light. You see sounds are echoey. Very, uh, haunting-like. Let's see how the ball sounds. <laughs> it just kind of sounds like fireworks. That's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, that's the ball. Oh, this is, yeah, that's where Granny did the vase. Anyways, I can show you the, the jump scare warning. It might be a little loud if you didn't already hear it earlier. I do have my volume a little bit quieter for you guys. This is Granny. That's what she sounds like in this mode. Yeah. A little bit haunting. By the way, let me, uh, I already tested this. Um, where is it? The duct tape? You're probably wondering, what happens if you, like, try to use the duct tape on Granny? Like, uh, what? Maybe you could, like, duct tape her mouth shut. See that little mouth? Chomping. It, I don't think it does anything. But, that is a haunting noise. Anyways, there you go, Granny. Enjoy that. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, I really hope uh, you enjoyed this. I don't think there's anything else off I can show. This is the latest version. As I'm recording this public version version 3.4.3 there is a few beta versions like there's a multiplayer mod where uh, you can have a friend control granny it's kind of a little buggy I think but uh, there is a newer version that has a new puzzle in the attic it's kind of a tough puzzle I'm not gonna lie so hopefully don't it opens up one room that just has like an item on the floor so better hope that you don't have to do the puzzle because like it takes a little while to do. It, it involves timing. If you can get the timing first try, good on you. But, yeah. 
I think there's another beta. I don't know what it did. It might just be something with graphics. But I think that's all I can show off here for you guys. Didn't expect this to go for so long, 20 minutes. Holy crap. But I appreciate you watching this. Uh, I hope you learned something cool. But remember to comment if you would like to see me go against 5 or 10 grannies. I surely will. Probably not in extreme mode. But maybe if people, if you guys really want that, maybe I will. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I appreciate you watching. I'll be back very soon with some more speedruns. Maybe stuff like this. I don't know. Bye-bye. I appreciate you. Goodbye.